of the greatness of his government and peace there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness. From that time on and forever, the zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. Empires come and go. They always fail eventually. Leaders become corrupt. Jealous rivals take over. Looking back over history and at our world as it is today, we might be tempted to think that things will never change. But our passage this week says otherwise. Walter Brueggemann, on his commentary, speaks of a great reversal to be brought about by Jesus, which challenges every human-made empire. In what ways is a kingdom of righteousness and justice different from the kingdoms and regimes which exist today, I wonder? What does such a kingdom look like? Christians believe that Jesus has already introduced his kingdom of light into the world. The work of establishing his eternal kingdom has begun, but it is not yet complete. The darkness still holds an allure for so many of us, despite the trouble we get into when we can't see where we are going. But this verse gives us such hope. God's zeal for justice and righteousness does not fail, and he will not allow the darkness to overcome the light. There's so much more to Christmas than tinsel and fairy lights. May God's kingdom come.